Gato Perro back with another wrestling figure review today on the Jack Pacific WWE Deluxe Classic Series 70 Undertaker. By God, man, have I been looking forward to gaining a Ministry Undertaker. It is my favorite version of him. And this guy just screamed out to me when I was looking for wrestlers to get for my stop motions. And this guy just looks absolutely demonic and beast inside of his packaging. But even more so when I get it out. So, let's go through it. Same as the Rock Deluxe Classic Super Articulation. Picture then I take on the side with various poses with like a big boot and I think is a diving elbow or an elbow drop. On the back we get a big picture of Undertaker as well as a figure on the side. Again we get some stats of Undertaker's weight: 299 pounds, 136 kilograms, height 6 foot 10, finishing maneuvers, choke slam, tombstone, last ride, and hell's gates. And at the bottom we have an Undertaker, a rock, but I looked at the series one rock if you're inter interested in that. Show Michaels, Bret Hart, and Tito Santana. So anyway, let's get this Undertaker out of its packaging. And here we have The Undertaker. Now, in this review, I'm going to sound totally biased and I'm totally going to favor this figure just because of the fact that he's my favorite in ministry. Just about the best look I could ever imagine and hope for an Undertaker figure. And this guy gets everything right. Uh, it is a standard body mold for Undertaker figures. Uh, it's always been kind of stuck using the same body mold. Uh, here he is next to an Undertaker from back in 2007 slash 8 does 9. And yeah, he's using the exact same mold from like the torso down. Like the legs, and we've we always gone the same arms, and as well as like even like late fast forward to like 2010, 2011, we still got the same figure all across. Many figures had the same mold, and this guy, the only difference being is that you're getting a brand new uh, head sculpt featuring the Undertaker in his ministry form, and at least this time we're getting um, a different type of shirt design for the top of the abdomen section, and just we get some extra paint going across the entire figure with his designs on it. But overall, I think I really like it a lot. The one thing they always got correct was their head scan slash head sculpts, whichever you want to call it. Because this just looks totally sick and absolutely cool to me. Really nice, dark, uh, evil beard going on there, almost devil-like. He always had this big black hair flowing down. He has this big gap on the back of his neck. I wish that they had included uh, a jacket instead. But it's just stuck like that the whole time. And for some reason, as much space as there is, you can't even move his head up, which was kind of lame but it's still pretty cool the eyes are kind of weirdly uh painted on mine not too bad i think i would have also preferred a uh when he has his eyes rolled to the back of his head but we're all really cool looking and i didn't go over accessories i'm just gonna go over it really quickly right now because it makes no sense at all he includes this wrestlemania 2 ring skirt just like the other ones and this one makes no sense because i don't think undertaker appeared at wrestlemania 2 but i guess it's still cool that uh that they included it again you can't put it on your ring have you have the ones that were produced by Jax? Yeah, it's kind of weird how they would include that. Anyway, back to this guy. He does have the tattoos of the Undertaker going across his entire arms. Which, if you look closely, I guess you can make out some stuff. But for the most part, it kind of just weird designs to go all the way across. And then the other difference is that he has painted designs across his chest with Undertaker symbol. And on both sides of his legs. On the bottom, we just got really shiny boots. The same kind of like uh, tight designs going across the entire thing. So I think it's still pretty cool. Again, I'm going to be biased only because he is my favorite of all time. So this Undertaker being a deluxe style classics figure, as I mentioned before, it said does not like look up or down. But there's not many people Undertaker has to look up to. His shoulders do go out that much and they do rotate all the way around. He does have a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, and then he does have wrist hinges at the gloves. Which, by the way, are not new at all. They're kind of these uh, MMA style gloves which do not fit the Undertaker at all. So they're not too noticeable and he did not include elbow patch, which he, which he did have at the time. Still kind of disappointing, but one thing I noticed about this guy, I forgot to mention, is that one thing that Undertaker from the Ministry of Darkness reminds me of is how jacked and muscular he was. And as much people will complain about how they're built for their figure words with jacks back in the day, this guy at least fits in with how big and muscular they made him. He was pretty big back then. And he does have an anchor that makes him go all the way forward that much. Back enough, but if you move it too much, you'll see where the paint starts for the Undertaker logo. Uh, he does have a waist swivel, his legs go out that much, and they go all the way forward like that for a kick. Double jointed knees, he does rotate at the leg, his legs go down, uh, kind of up, and they do rotate all the way around. So you're going to get a lot of Undertaker poses out so of this. So would I recommend this guy to an Undertaker fan? Absolutely. Uh, again, if you like Jax, you could go ahead and buy it. I think he's a cheaper alternative. If, if not, and you like a Mattel figures better, then another uh, version will be the uh, San Diego Comic Con Undertaker that was also based on the Ministry of Darkness version because we haven't had too many of this and that one came with like a big jacket and like uh, I think it even came with a face and him with like a special package you know big uh, nice edition style for San Diego Comic Con but otherwise I've always been a fan of the jacket figures so I decided why not get this one it's really cheap I got it for $18 on Amazon 
And if it, I think you can still buy them, man. I'm not sure if they're still 18 or not. But still, I, would, I don't want to rate them because it'll be totally high or something. Because I'm, I'm totally in crazy with Undertaker. But still, really cool version of Undertaker. Really happy to have it. And that'll be it for this review. Please enjoy for other 